Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Joanne. How are you? Hello to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like the project that I'm about to show you. I created a mini vintage album and before I show it to you, I wanted to show you the collection that I used. I am uh, totally impressed with simple stories in the last couple years they are making the most gorgeous collections this one is called simple Vit simple vintage garden district it is so stunning i had to have the entire thing so they have um men this is not all of it i have tons of it so they have bits and pieces and it has all these beautiful florals and tickets and just so many butterflies and birds and it's just absolutely gorgeous look at that and then they also have the sticker book which you can get all kinds of different things from and little sayings and you can see I've used a lot of it and then oh I love breads I know some people don't like breads but I love them isn't that gorgeous you can see I've used some of them and then they also have the chipboard frames that I've used quite a few of, but look at how pretty. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, I just love it so much. I'll show you a f uh, just a couple of the papers really quick. There's just so many beautiful colors. They have um, more of a white base to it, but I'm going to show you what I did to my papers to distress them and give them the vintage look. So look at this cut apart sheet, 4 by 6 how beautiful would your pocket pages or your scrapbook layouts look using this? And then this is pretty. Look at that. I'm only going to show you a couple. And then, oh, look at that. So pretty. I love the paper that has, like, the very faded out text in the background. It's so beautiful. And then, oh, look at pretty. Isn't that insanely gorgeous? Look at this. Oh my goodness. And that. And then they have many, many more that you'll. You can get this at scrapbook.com and probably some other places. That's where I got mine. I know on scrapbook.com they're running low, so you might want to look at a different location to try to find that. But I know there's some left there. I just looked like yesterday. So what I did. <clears throat> is I made this little mini album and I learned how to do this from Amber over at Lyric Lover Crafts. She's amazing. I'm going to link her channel below. Be sure to subscribe to her because she has the best ideas and her projects are, she makes everything so simple that you really want to do it. Because sometimes I look at something and I go, oh, I really want to do that, but I don't know if I can do all that work. It's, and the way she does everything, it's just ridiculously simple and so much fun. So I have this, and I'll tell you a couple little tips and tricks that I use to make this. So I just made an album, and there's the back cover. Isn't that pretty? And then it looks like that, and it's about that thick isn't it wonderful so i went ahead and used one of the chipboard frames for the cover and it does extend past the cover a little bit but i wanted it to do that because i thought it looked really good Used some stickers and then i used some sparkly tool that i got at michael's i believe and then i just put some sequins in there and i like them to move around so i did sprinkle some powder in there so they wouldn't all be staticky and stuck to each other and if you move it you can see the bird very clearly and i did this because my mother loved birds so i wanted to make sure there was a lot of birds on this so what i did let me see i'll show you the part that sticks over i went ahead because it's just chipboard I put some washi tape from the collection over it and then fussy cut it out around this. And then to make sure it didn't come up and it stayed strong, I put glossy accents, the Ranger glossy accents on it. See how sparkly it is? And that just made it be really, really firm. So when people are looking through it, it won't get bent right here and get a crease. So I just thought that would be a nice way to strengthen this piece right here. 
Isn't that pretty? So there's my cover. And then the first page, I just used a bunch of the different papers. And they have so many beautiful embellishments in this collection. It's a little butterfly that comes with a bread. So you go ahead and I put the breads in first. And then I put two pieces, two or three pieces of scotch tape behind the bread because it's metal. That way it won't poke into anything behind it. That's how I do it. And you just put a layer behind and then a second smaller layer underneath. And then just decorate each page like it's a scrapbook page. So... Like I said, it's like most of the papers have a, like a white base instead of a cream base. See how that's white? Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. So I wanted everything to be vintagey and like creamy looking. I don't know how it's to say that. So what I did is I used this from scrapbook.com and I, I know everybody has these little daubers and I used the <clears throat> Tim Holtz Distress, Distress oxide in the antique linen so I would just take I made this with white cardstock but it looks like I made it with and it looks like um, coffee stained paper so I would just go like this and then put it all along the edges of where anything was white so keep that in mind and if you want to do a vintage thing you can grab yourself one of these for pretty cheap especially if you use a coupon the second tip for making a vintage album, in my opinion, is a lot of the times you'll find, let me flip ahead really quick, you'll find your old photos in your grandparents or your mom or your parents album or whatever I'm trying to say. This is a really, really old photo. See how it's like, um, it's got like an edge on it and it's cracked and ripped and old looking. That's my mother. She looks like a babe in this picture, doesn't she? And But just see how old it is. So this was in an album. <clears throat> so what I did is I took my cell phone and I got up close. Because if you take it from far away, you can't really see the details. It's really hard to see the details in these older photos. So I used my cell phone and I took a picture of the picture. And then, in order to make it be vintage and more authentic, I printed my photos on matte photo paper. Okay, sorry about the glare. It's beautiful sunshine out today. I can't complain. It's been so cold. On matte photo paper. I use Canon because I have a Canon printer. But the matte photo paper is exactly what it is. It's matte. There's no gloss because I felt like if I printed my photos on glossy paper, it would lose the vintage feel. So it's just like this and it actually just feels like a piece of cardstock paper. There's no gloss to it whatsoever. And I just thought that it would come out better in a vintage album to use that and sometimes it's different to use really cool and different to use a different kind of paper so here's the original photo so i took a picture of it and then it's obviously in black and white and then i went ahead and printed it in a four by six and just trimmed it down a little bit on that paper but see how you can really see my mom's face because I took like a picture with my cell phone and got a little bit closer. And there's some marks on it because there's marks on the original. But that just adds to the vintage look. So there's two tips for you. The Distress Oxide and the Antique Linen. And take a picture of your old photos and use that. Because this doesn't have any page protectors so I didn't want this to get ruined. All right, so there's just a couple tips for you. So let me do a little walkthrough. Again, we already discussed the cover and the binding. I just put a piece of paper and then I ran some washi tape down it because I love the washi tape that came with this collection. It's just so pretty. The back, I used a little bit of the antique linen. See how much I used it? <laughs> and you can just go ahead and put it on your papers and all your embellishments to give it that old vintage distressed look. This was just a 4 by 3 cut apart, and I used some flower ephemera and a butterfly ephemera. And the ephemera all has, like, white edges. Let me show you. See how this white? So I did go ahead 
and use this on all of my ephemera too. I just distressed the edges and anywhere it was white, I gave it that vintage look. All right, so there's that. Now, this first page, this is an actual photo. You can tell the difference between this and this when you're looking at it on the camera because you can see. But I had we had a lot of these in the album for some reason. It was my brother's first communion a long time ago. And um, we had many copies. So I did go ahead and use this because when I took a picture of it, they used black backgrounds back in the day. I'm not sure why they did that, but probably then it was cool. So taking a picture of a black picture would have just been so much ink to reprint and I had extra. So this is the only photo in this book that is actually a photo and not a reprint. So this was his first communion and I love how the papers got those writings on it. And then this right here is a stamp that I have. I did it in a light gray to make it look like it was part of the paper. I just picked that stamp up at um, a recent Hobby Lobby haul that I had. I posted a video on it. So I used some ephemera and a ticket and I just thought that was really cute. And then this was my sister's high school graduation photo. Isn't that wonderful? Now, it was a little bit warped, so when I took a picture of it, some of the warping came out, but it just adds to it, and it just feels like paper. So used a couple different papers in there, the stamp again, and distressed all my ephemera, and this has a little dimension on it with the foam squares under the butterfly and the bread, and you have plenty of room in this style of mini album in order to put a little bit of dimension on each page and it doesn't make the album have the alligator opening you know like there's too much in it okay next page look at this paper oh it's just so cool isn't it I like the old photos they're kind of I don't even, there, I know there's a process that's called that, but they make it look like the makeup and stuff is painted on and it's in color. I love it. This is my mother and her twin sister, paternal twins. So this whole thing is a piece of paper and I just put a sticker here, a sticker here, and a sticker here that says Pure Beauty. And the way this is, it makes it look like these stickers are part of this paper. Okay, and then the next page is my mother. I'm not sure what this was for. I know it wasn't her high school picture because I, I know what that is. I have that. So I'm not sure why she took this, but it's beautiful, isn't it? Look how gorgeous she was. Sticker sheet. Do you know how Simple Stories has those big sticker sheets where they have the big, huge banners across them? I took a piece of the banner and fussy cut around it so it would still look good. And just put it down there and this was open but because the paper behind it was just so beautiful I left it open I wasn't worried about it, and then I just put a sticker that read so lovely and all the rest of this is just that gorgeous paper okay and then the next is the chipboard frames and I really didn't do too much to this page I put a little sticker here that says live love laugh I put a sticker here that looks like it's part of the paper and I put a sticker across the chipboard frame with these beautiful flowers and that's all I did to that page but the paper is just so pretty it makes it look gorgeous and that's my dad and that was me when I was little we must have been at some I was in somebody's wedding when I was a little girl a flower girl or something who knows can't remember and then we did discuss this photo this is my mom being a babe up against a tree probably her and her sisters were taking pictures but isn't it just wonderful to have pictures that are that old and be able to still have them and look at them I just love it so I put the papers and this is a sticker and this is a sticker and I just dressed all of them like I said a butterfly a little cluster of flowers with a brad and then this is chipboard it says beauty and it says live for today I just thought that was wonderful. And then my next page, beautiful papers, and this is ephemera, that's a sticker, butterfly ephemera, and that is a piece of ephemera that I distressed all of it, and then I put some papers, and then I did go ahead and put some washi tape 
in between the two of these. This is my dad and my mom. And again, I don't know where these pictures are from because neither one of these pictures are their high school pictures. So it must have been some kind of a grade in school. I'm not sure. But I just think it's nice. I have these pictures, the original pictures, in crystal frames. And they face each other because one's looking this way and one's looking this way. So I have them right next to each other, kind of like they're facing each other. It's just cool. And then this one, this collection has this beautiful darker green in it with a lot of florals and stuff. So I use that and I put some washi tape <clears throat> on the bottom, some washi tape on the top, some ephemera, and then just back, backed this photo with some paper and then I distressed it. I use my Tim Holtz Edge Distressor to give the papers that distressed look on the side. Makes it adds to the vintage feel. It's my mom, her twin sister, and her older sister. I just love this. I found this picture and I um, texted it to all my cousins and everybody's like, I want a copy. I want a copy. So I'll have to do that. And then oh, I think this is my favorite page. Double page layout. I just love it. They match. They look pretty together. And these pictures are just so cool. So again, this is a bread, some ephemera, a little sticker, and it just looks like it's part of the paper, doesn't it? I love it. A little sticker here. I put this up on some um, foam squares so it has some dimension. This is a little flag sticker and a butterfly. And it says live for today on it. There's a picture of my mom. And then over here, how gorgeous is this photo? Some butterflies, backed it, distressed the edges sticker cluster with a <clears throat> ticket some stickers those little stamps and I put some foam squares behind that but this is um <clears throat> my mom's sister and my mom's brother it was in their wedding and this is my aunt and my uncle and obviously my aunt and my uncle these are my godparents I think it was when they got married they must have been best man and matron of honor but look at that photo isn't that cool I just love that. Okay. And then this book is really sturdy. I mean, it's very, very stiff and it's very sturdy. So it's going to hold up really well. And then this is a picture of my dad when he was little. Look at that little face. Oh, he's so cute. Bunch of ephemera and stickers and a butterfly. And I did put some thread underneath that little flower embellishment. I thought that was cool. And then this is my mom. Look how beautiful she was. Gorgeous, right? Again, this is um, a piece of the big, huge banner stickers that Simple Stories does. I just love it. And up here we got some washi tape and a ticket. I love it. I just threw a ticket in here because the edge of the picture was sticking out from underneath this banner. And I thought it looked weird. So I just kind of put a piece of ephemera in there to make it look better pretty and again I used the stamp that I got at Hobby Lobby just use some gray ink and it sort of looks like it's part of the paper and then the last pages I use <clears throat> one of the <clears throat> excuse my voice one of the chipboard frames beautiful I love it so I did two pictures in four by three and just made sure they fit in the frame nicely and use some stickers and another piece of chipboard on top of it and another piece of chipboard on top of it and it did this frame had something coming up here like a bird or something I just went ahead and fussy cut that out and then put a flower on the top so it won't cut off my aunt's face these are all my aunts and my this is my mom the oldest sister my mom's twin and their youngest sister it's pretty cool and if you look close you can see the the original photo had tons of scratches and marks on it so when I took a copy of it, obviously, I mean, excuse me, when I took a picture of it and printed a copy, the scratches and stuff came out. But it makes it, you know, vintage as it is. And then up at the top, I was lucky enough to find this. My mother, look how beautiful she was. Oh, her sister. And that's my grandma. So I was really excited to get that picture. Love it. That's why I put that there. Love this. <laughs> Okay, and the last page, last but not least, um, some pictures of my dad. Look how handsome he was. 
Oh, it was so handsome. So I just used a stamp and some ephemera, two little stickers that said, you are amazing and the best because he was. This was his high school picture. I got that. I t actually took a picture of his high school, uh, what do you call it? Senior portrait, I guess is what you would call it. I don't know if they called it that back then. I took a picture of it, and the yearbooks back then were just made out of paper. They weren't made out of glossy paper and stuff like they are now. So that came out pretty good, considering it was a picture of a really old piece of paper. And then put some more ephemera here. And, of course, like I said, I distressed everything to make it just look like vintage -y. And sometimes I would even take this and just put it on the edges of the photo just to give it a little more vintagey look and feel that way. So there's that. And again, if you want to make one of these little mini albums yourself, it is so easy. It's a little time consuming putting everything together and embellishing it, you know, but it's a fun, fun project. It probably all together took me three or four hours. You know, I did a couple of over the course of three or four days, I think just, to relax and have some fun but not difficult and it takes me that long because I'm always auditioning embellishments and I put so much embellishments on the stuff that I do but I like embellishments and I just want to use them up so there's my album thank you so much for stopping by I do hope that you enjoyed it and I will leave a um Amber's YouTube channel below and you can view her her tutorial can't talk today um it'll be the way she explains it would be a lot better than how i could do it so go ahead and check her out and view her tutorial and i hope you enjoyed this have a good day bye